I am recording this in a different location. You're probably going to be hearing some background sounds. My daughter left the nest and returned in S rank adventurer. Episode 3 opens in winter time. Bell defeated a monster all by himself. This monster was in the mountains, and now the villagers feel safe working in the mountains again. Bell says he hopes he can see Angeline in the spring. We go to Angeline and wherever they are, which is probably the Avenger Guild. Two retired S rank adventurers visit, and Angeline knows them. They have come to help with the monster outbreak. The guild master thinks the demon lord has returned. This explains why there are so many people here. Everyone is here to defeat this demon lord and figure out what's going on with this monster outbreak. The adventurers go out and the magic in the area is off. Maria is an S rank adventurer who also has come to help. They destroy the barrier and the retired S rank adventurers argue amongst themselves on basically who is going to defeat more monsters. After some fighting outside, Angeline says this cannot drag on or they will lose, so she goes inside the dungeon with two of the retired S rank adventurers. As they make their way through the dungeon, they get to an area where we see this dark menacing figure that has been hinted to us audience in the past episode. They think this is the Demon Lord. They fight and it is hard to defeat this thing. After a while, Angeline cuts it in half and they win. Angeline got injured during this and passed out. She wakes up at the guild. Everyone is really happy she is awake and congratulates her on the win. Angeline talks about her dad and yes, she does want to see him, but he would want her to stay because she is strong and the strong help the weak. Angeline though is so given permission to take time off. Angeline, Anessa, and Naram go travel to Angeline's hometown. When the carriage gets close to Belle's house, Angeline jumps off and runs towards her father. She yells about all the great accomplishments she has done in the past five years. They do not hug each other right away, which I would think they should. Like, don't wait for that. Stop waiting. Belle tells Angeline she did well the past five years. He points out how much she has grown. Now they hug. They finally hug. After three episodes, Angeline and Belle are reunited. I guessed it would take longer for them to be reunited. I am glad I was wrong. We learn that Angeline didn't actually kill this demon lord. This creature is still alive and there is a man who is behind it all. We do not know who he is. It should be no surprise though that the demon king has come back to life. And yes, this anime calls it the demon king. I know earlier I called it the demon lord, but the demon king is alive. The fight was relatively easy, which is why it's not a surprise this Demon King is back. I mean, yes, they did have a hard time piercing the Demon King and defeating it, but Angeline just struck it once and then it disappeared and it was like, oh, battle won. Uh, so it's not a surprise that at the end of this episode, they were like, hey, Demon King's actually alive. Hopefully none of you were surprised. I was not surprised by this and it should be no surprise to anyone because this is our villain. We just met the anime's villain and Angeline will be the anime's hero in this episode. And that is the end of episode 3. It is going to be cute in episode 4 with Belle and Angeline together now. I am not sure how long they will stay together though, but episode 4 should be very cute. Thank you for watching my video. You can comment below on if you liked this video, if you're even liking this anime, and share this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps the channel grow. Thank you for listening.